I want you guys to help me. And I want you to think of the blessings that needed to exist so that you can actually have that bite of bread. So for example, you needed to have teeth. You needed to have a baker. Thank you. You needed to have farmers. You needed to have wheat, water, oven, heat. And where did the water come from? Did it come from the rain? Did it come from the clouds? Right? The ocean? Right? And if you keep going, you needed to have the teeth. You needed to have, you need to have transportation, an economic system. You need to have, you need to have um, taste buds. You need to have the digestion. You need to have a tongue. You need to have molar teeth. You need to have salivation, right? You need to have the farm and the farmer. And how about the tractor and the farm? And how about the factory that made the tractor? And how about the, the person who made the tractor? How about the clothes that the person's wearing who made the tractor? And how about the needle that was used to sew the clothes for the person that was working in the factory that made the tractor that's on the farm? So when you say Alhamdulillah, it includes the clouds, the skies, the oceans, photosynthesis. It includes the chemistry of yeast, the chemistry of yeast and the macros that exist behind that we don't even see that make bread into bread. All of those things that we barely understand, that I barely understand in chemistry, right? And then and everything inside your inner universe. And there needs to be an economic system. And the person who made the business, that made the bag, that made the bread, that transported it, that put it in the, the place that you bought it. And how about the gas? And how long was the gas made in the world, in the earth? So that, to make, so that it was used to transport it. How long does it take? How many, how many eras, millen millenniums to make that guess? So that was being generated for you from thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago so that you can enjoy your bite of bread. <laughs> Because that gas that you used in your car or in that train or in that bus or in that, or in that tractor, how long did that gas exist? <laughs> that oil that was used, right? Thousands of years ago. So when you say, Alhamdulillah, you can't count one blessing because it encompasses all of these things. And that's why when you say, Alhamdulillah, it fills it fills from the heavens and the earth. And that's why my, one of my favorite hadith in the Shema'il is if you, whoever takes a bite of food and, and says Alhamdulillah, Allah is happy with you. It's that easy. Or whoever takes a sip and says Alhamdulillah, Allah is happy with you. It's that simple. Just don't give credit to yourself. <laughs> I made this bread. I'm the best baker in the world. Let me Instagram it. <laughs> right? Give credit to God.